हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ न्यू फीचर रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड नोन एज मल्टीपल एडमिन अप्रूवल्स एट दिस स्टेज दिस कैन बी ओनली अप्लाई टू एप्स एंड स्क्रिप्ट्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लिटिल बिट मोर ऑन मल्टीपल एडमिन अप्रूवल्स सो टू हेल्प अगेंस्ट अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अकाउंट Microsoft introduced Intune Access policy to require that a second administrative account is used to approve a change before the change is applied. This capability is known as multiple administrative approval. Multiple administrative approvals we can configure access policies that protects specific configurations like app or script for the devices. Access policy specify what is protected and which group of accounts are permitted to approve change to those resources. When any account in the tenant is used to make a change to a resource that protected by an access policy, Intune won't apply the changes until a different account explicitly approve it. Only administrators who are a member of an approval group. that assigned to a protected resource in an access protection policy can approve the changes approver can also reject the changes access policies are supported for the following resources for apps it is applied to app deployment but does not apply to app protection policies for scripts it applies to deploying scripts to device that runs mac os or windows os Let's talk about some of the key consideration before implementing multi admin approval. So with the public preview Intune does not send notification when new requests are created or the status of an existing request changes. Microsoft recommended that when submitting an urgent change request you have to reach out to the individual who have permission to approve those requests. Admin have to plan to monitor the status of your request. to the my request page of the multi admin approval nodes when an approval is already pending for an object a new request is cannot be submitted for it all actions for a protected resource are protected which includes editing creating modifying deleting and assigning a policy actions for request and the approval process are logged in in the intune box and last the following status conditions are available for request and these are needs approval meaning that this request is pending action by an approver approved status meaning that this request is being processed by intune completed meaning that this request has been successfully applied rejected meaning that the request was rejected by an approver and last is cancelled meaning that this request was cancelled by the admin who submitted it now let's talk about the prerequisites for creating access policies and for approvers so to create an access policy account must have either intune service administrator role assigned or azure global administrator role assigned and to be an approver account must be in the group that assigned to the access policy for a specific type of resources and account must be an administrator Now let's see how we can configure a multiple admin approvals in Intune. So to do this, we have to go to Tenant Administration, and within Tenant Administration, we have to click on Multi Admin Approval, and within this, we have to create a access policies. So first, I am going to create access policy for scripts. We have to provide the name of the policy, description, and then we have to click on Next. and then we have to add a group so i already created a group called approval group and in this group i added all the users who can review the scripts and application and can deny or approve the scripts and application so i'm going to click on select and then next and then create same thing we have to do for for application also so again i am going to create a new policy for application 
and this time I'm going to select the apps and then click on next and then again we have to add the group so I'm going to add the same group but in production environment it's recommended to create a two separate groups one for application and one for scripts and then we have to click on next and then create now both the access policy is created and assigned to a specific group of users who can approve or deny the creation of scripts or application let me show you the group as well so in group within the approval group i have three members and all are admins who can approve the request so right now i am logged in with second id let me switch to the another account and see the admin experience when they are creating a scripts and applications so for now i am going to use my test user account so for going to create an application so to do this i'm going to click on all apps now we have to click on add and then we have to select the app type for now i am going to select the app type microsoft store apps new and then we have to select and then we have to find an app which we want to deploy for now i am selecting company portal for testing purpose and then I, I am going to select the company portal now all the fields are auto populated if you like you can add the lo logo but for testing purpose I am going to skip it and I am going to click on next now we can see that the, we are getting information saying that before this resource can be created it must be approved by another admin before you can submit this request you must enter your business justification and within the business justification window we have to provide the justification for now i am providing justification saying that deploying application based on the change number whatever change number you have for that application and then hit submit for approval and now we can see that the application is created and it's saying that a change request for this application is pending approval now i am logged in with another admin account who can approve the request so to approve the request we have to go to the tenant administration and within tenant administration we have to select multi admin approval option and then we have to select the resource type which we want to approve for now i am going to select the application and we have to click on the business justification and now we can review the application deployment and then we can approve it or deny it so i am going to approve the request and then click on approve now we can see that for this application the status is changed from needs approval to approved i am going to log in with my test account to see his experience so to do this i am going to switch my test account now i am logged in with my test account let's see what is his experience when they are deploying that application so to do this we have to go to the apps and then all apps and within all apps we have to select the company portal application and now we can see that the application is not assigned it is ready for the deployment so i'm going to click on properties for the assignment and under assignments we have to edit the assignment and i'm going to add to all the device in required mode and then click on review and save now we are getting the another business justification for assignment purpose so i'm going to provide the business justification so now I have provided the business justification with the change number and I'm going to click on save. Now application is assigned to all the devices but it is waiting for another admin to approve this request. So now let me switch to my another admin account. Now I am logged in with my admin accounts who can approve the request and to do this we have to again go to the tenant administration and within tenant administration we have to again go to the multi admin approval and now we can see that we have another request for approval and the operation type is assigned now we have to click on the business justification and then we have to review this request and either approve or deny for now i am going to approve this request and click on approve request now application is approved let me log in back to the test user account to see if the application is deployed on all the devices now i'm logged in with my test user account i'm checking whether the company portal application is assigned to all the devices we can see that the company portal application is showing 
assigned yes and that's all i want to show you with respect to multi admin approval i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video